What's up YouTube, it's your boy CB and I'm back again with another video. As y'all can see by the title, today we're going to be going over my 2024 sneaker collection. This video is posted on the day it's supposed to be posted, that means this is three weeks of consistent posting once a week. So the least y'all could do is like the video and subscribe. It helps me out, helps you out. It's really like a, it really like helped both of us realistically. Like I said, this is going to be a video of my current sneaker collection. I have some pieces that I just added and obviously we're going to need some more pieces as time goes on, but let's get into the video. Y'all can't tell me that they did not cook with these. These are custom dunks. These are one of one. First pair, and probably my most popular pair, just because I wear them so much, is the UNC Dunks. I got these before I came to UNC, barely wore them freshman year, and then now I kind of just wear them. You can see the bottoms a little, a little beat up, but you gotta represent the school. This is one of my favorite pairs of shoes still. They just clean, I, but like everybody at UNC has these, so it got less rare than I thought it was because so many people be walking around campus with these. And this is like the start of like my sneaker collecting kind of journey, I would say. All right, next shoe we got for y'all today is these Jordan 1s, these are the Taxi 1s. I wasn't the biggest fan of 1s at first, but once I got these, I caught on to the hype. They're just clean. They're like a, camera probably not gonna show you, but they're like a, it's like a little bit of oranges. They're not actually like yellow. They got a little bit of orange to them. I won these on sneakers. I'm not gonna lie, I was on a sneakers binge sophomore year. I probably went like four. I went like a good like three for 60. <laughs> I definitely didn't have the money to be entering all of them, but I just wanted to. Plus I wanted to resell some shoes too. I don't be wearing these hella, but they're just a good little pair to have. The next pair of shoes that we got today is the Jordan 3 Cardinal Reds. These are the OG, not the Nike SB versions, just the original Cardinal Reds. Um, I got these summer after freshman year and I popped out with my new braids with them on Instagram. The fit was kind of a little average, but we liked it at the time. One of my first pairs of Jordans. Yeah, I don't really like wearing threes that much though, because they hella bulky. Like, whenever you walk around in them, it's like clunky. And maybe that's just because I'm like skinnier. I don't, I don't know. I don't be rocking them that much, but my go-to for like white and red shoe. Next up, possibly my favorite pair that I have is the infrared, oh shit, the infrared fours. Peep the shoe. These. Fours are just great. I'm not gonna lie, fours might be the best Jordan. In the comments right now, drop what pair or like what number is the best. Personally, I think it's fours and I don't think it's close. Realistic. Just like, look at how clean these look. I've worn these hella times, so I can see by the bottom, but like they still look hella clean. I can wear them with realistically anything I want to, that anything that's white, red, or black. So they go with a lot and I'm not gonna lie, they just cold shoes. Well, I forgot. I wore these on L Doc and someone spilled. Here's a still a quick little story time. So I wore these on L Doc. Gary threw a Borg. It exploded and it got all over. It got all over the sides. Gary, count your days, gang. Next up, y'all gonna see a pattern here. We got another pair of fours. These are the Midnight Navy fours. I won these on sneakers as well. I got hella lucky. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was on sneakers heavy. I wanted Panda Dunks so bad freshman year just so I could have them and just wear them, but I didn't win those at all. I went probably like one for, actually I went O oh, for probably like 30 on Nike and sneakers. Couldn't find them in store. I'm glad I didn't win at the end of the day. These right here, Midnight Navy 4s. Another one of my favorite pairs just because they're 4s. I wore these on my birthday sophomore year for those pictures. I wear them a little bit. You see the bottoms, but white shoes, so I don't really wear them that much because I hate getting white stuff dirty. Like if these were to get dirty, I'd probably be very upset. So I don't wear white shoes that often, but now if y'all been tuned in the channel for a minute, y'all know that I do have some beat Air Force Ones. And when I mean beats, I mean beats. Like I wore these to Gunna Concert in San Fran. I've worn these to like other parties and stuff, creases, all that. I cleaned them off. So like, they not that dirty no more. You know I had to. Everybody needs a clean pair of forces. So I had to cop a new pair. I had a Nike gift card too, so it only made them like 50. Regular pair of forces. Nothing too exciting, but everyone's gotta have a clean pair of forces. Or in the city, we call them uptowns. I got another pair of forces. These are a little bit different. I got these for Christmas. Something a little bit different. I've worn them like three times. I like how they different than just the regular ones. They got a little off-white in the middle kind of color. Um, I don't know what specific colorway these are called, but I think they're pretty clean. And then the back, I like the back. They got that little design right there. Probably wear these more in the school year, but right now it's summer and I don't want to be walking around with like horses that often because they, they heavy, they hot. The next pair I got for y'all is kind of an underrated pair of shoes. I don't think that a lot of people know about these dunks right here. These are the Next Nature Blue. 
I don't know. Like the whole thing about these, they're supposed to be made like only from recycled material. I am environmentalist. They don't go with a lot, but I like them. Yeah, like I said, just dunks. I wear them with blues, navy blues, all that kind of stuff. So I don't wear them hella, like I said, but I think they're a pretty good shoe. All right, I'm not trying to make this video too long for y'all, so I'm gonna try to go through them a little bit faster. All right, so boom, next pair, Yeezy Slides. I feel like everybody, every guy should have a pair of Yeezy Slides. I promise you, they'll give you three inches in height. See, I'm like, I'm like 5'11", right? Put these on, I might as well be 6'3". Y'all people that are already over 6'3", leave them, leave them be. Y'all don't need them. But anybody that's under 6'2", get you a pair of these so you can automatically be 6'2". I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they're hella comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. And they're really easy to clean. All you gotta do is just get like a wet paper towel or just get some water and they like whatever's on it rubs right off. But uh, you can see they're pretty, uh, pretty warm, pretty beat, but I don't know. I might cop another pair, but the next pair, Got these black and blue um, Easy Boosts. I think these are the yeah the three fifties. I really only got these because I got them from one of my friends. He sold them to me for a hundred, which is a steal because they were going for like three. They're a little bit small on my feet, like they kind of squeeze my feet a little bit because they're ten and a half. So I guess they run small. Yeah, I still wear them from time to time. They cool. I like the simplicity of them. Next we have these these shoes I took from my dad's closet. You gonna see a common pattern of me taking shoes from my dad's closet just cause he's a Nike head, so therefore I am. These are Air Max 97s, I'm pretty sure. I forgot what colorway they are, I'll put it here. These are fire shoe. Also give you some height too for all my short kings out there. I don't know what to say, they're cool. And they got the little smiley face, yeah. This is a, a more recent pickup that I just got. I got these for my birthday. I was going through a phase where I wanted nothing but fives. So you know I had to get the UNC five. You know I had to get the UNC colors. Come on now. You know who y'all talking to? But um, yeah, fives are, they're mad bulky. I actually, actually haven't worn these yet. Do not tell nobody that because I haven't picked out a fit for them. But I'm not gonna lie, it's just a clean shoe. I, I was in love with fives for like a solid like three months. Just like the suede kind of and like the base. It's just a fire shoe. Like had to pick them, had to get them. What colors would go best? with this like if i were to put on a fit what fit would i put on with this i feel like these are more like pants shoes so in the comments should i wear these with like what can i pair this with and make it look cool y'all will probably figure out as this video goes on how my interest in sneakers has kind of developed over time yeah i went from hype beast only rocking jordans and dunks and now we're moving on to like different brands different shoes all that stuff so we straying away from the usual and we we get we get more diverse now y'all probably bored of the nike y'all probably bored of the jordans be like damn do you wear anything else I do. Calm down. We got some New Balances. I think these are the 550s. But we got the green and white 550s. I wore these recently. I got them. These were a gift off of StockX for uh, Christmas. Just the, This is my first pair of like non-Nike shoes that I wore often. I wore them a bit the past few months. Probably rock more out in the school year because I'm starting to get more pieces in my closet that match green. I don't have a lot of green in my closet. So shout out to New Balance. I'll probably cop some more New Balances. I know people with the blue ones. I want the black protection bags. Oh, and I just cop these. I might be a little late to the trends, a little late to the, but I know what's in this box. Take a guess. Yeah, you're right. Might be a little late to the trends, but I caught me some Sambas. Let me tell you, I went to South Point to get the white ones. They were sold out of every single store of my size, which is either 11 or 10 and a half. I was going to buy them online, but then I saw this pack, saw this colorway on StockX, and I knew I had to get it. See, I wanted the white ones at first. I'm not gonna lie, these are low key better. It's got like this light blue, kind of matches UNC colors, I guess, if you wanna reach for it. I personally think these are fire. Y'all gonna see me with a fit on with these very soon. This is my first pair of Sambas. I might get the white ones just to have another pair, just to have more some diverse range with it, cause they're not that expensive. They probably the same price as Air Force ones. They probably like a hundred, so. The summer shoe, summer vibe, jean shorts kind of vibe, so. All right, so now we got into the, we getting into the comfort shoes. Every guy out there needs a pair of Uggs. I'm telling y'all, do not sleep on Uggs. It's not girly to get Uggs. Not none of that. Your feet will be cold in the winter. You go to school anywhere but Florida. Promise you. Get you some Uggs. These are just basic brown ones. You'll see hella people walking around with these. Doesn't matter. They mad comfy and your feet will never be cold if you wear them. Also had to hop on the little trend of getting the black ones. The black like the slipper version. These are also dumb comfy. You need a pair of these in your life. I promise you. And they look good too. Like the little edge, like the rim. I rock with them. So copy a pair just for some little additions. I have black vans. I was gonna get the black Sambas, but I realized it would kind of be redundant if I would've got black Sambas if I already had black Vans. I wanna get the new school ones, but I can't tell if I like the bulkiness or not. Are the new school Vans better than the old ones? So let me know. In the comments, type old school or new school for the Vans, cause I can't decide if I want the new schools. These are like, 
they're just a simple shoe you can wear them with like business casual etc these are a pair of vapor maxes that i also stole from my dad's closet but i just like these they're just hella colorful i haven't seen anybody with these shoes yet other than me i feel like it stands out a little bit but to finish out the video let's get into my hooping shoes for my hooping shoes i technically have three pairs paul has one of my pairs right now these are kd5s i'm pretty sure um i forgot the name of the colorway you can see they're dirty now but the thing is i got these for like 30 dollars at the nike outlet if y'all have an outlet near your house or wherever you live at go because they had these for like 60 and shoes for 60 is good already and then i had like a gift card just from being like a nike member so i got pushed down like another 30 dollars these were i got two shoes for 30 they cool too as you can see they're dirty now because i wore them outside once just to like break them in and then we played fives so they got dirty so now they're my outside hooping shoes but final pair my favorite hooping shoes of all time we got the Kyrie threes shit wait hold on all right i know my sneakers do not play with me these are Kyrie fives. These are not threes. These are my favorite hooping shoes that I've had probably since the Kyrie twos. I would say that I had. I had the Krispy Kreme ones. Y'all didn't know. This might be a hot take. Kyrie's Nike shoes are the best hooping shoes ever created. I'm not gonna lie. They better than Kobe's. They better than PG's. They better than Bron's. Drop down in the comments what you think the best hoop shoe is. I know y'all are gonna say Kobe's. Probably y'all. Some of y'all will say like Harden's or something like that. And that's just wrong. Nike Kyrie's are the best hooping shoes to ever be made, and it's not close. Like it's really not close. All right, no bull. I forgot to show y'all some shoes that I just copped. So I want y'all to peep the box. Look at the detail on the box though. Like that's hard. You can't tell me that they did not cook with these. Y'all can't tell me that they did not cook with these. Shut up, tell y'all. Look at the, peep the, yeah. Like, you can't tell me the rope is not tough. And the little, what are these called again? I don't know why. You can't tell me the rope is not tough. Uh, and if y'all don't know, this is whose Crocs we got on. These might be my best pair of shoes that I got. Sasuke Crocs, bro. Sasuke Crocs go crazy like this. Like, what do y'all rate these? Rate these on a scale of one to 10. I may be a little bit of a weed, but is that really a problem? These actually just came in right after I recorded the other section. So I had to I had to add in a little clip. I also forgot to, to share these with y'all as well. Y'all can't see, these are, this Nike by you. These are custom dunks. Now, these are one of one. So nobody has these but me. Not the most like, out of the world design. They are very basic, but I just got them basic so I could wear them with a lot. I essentially made Chicago ones with dunks. The Jordan pair is like, probably like 200 retail. So on StockX, they about to be like six. So I'm not buying those. So um, I essentially made these. I had a Nike, well, Nike coupon. Chicago one dunks. I think they smooth. Not the OD. I don't wear dunks a lot as much. Black bottoms. Yeah, so I want y'all to rate my sneaker collection 1 through 10. Rate these 1 through 10 as well. Or rate these 1 through 10 too. I think they're cool. I think these are cool light. I think it's a cool 8. It's something basic, something I could wear with a lot. I got a lot of red, black, and white in my closet. I think these are clean. These only cost like 110 for being customs. That's also hella good. Shout out to Nike. And if y'all didn't know, Nike gives a student discount 10% off of everything. You just gotta verify like your school uh, email. And they'll send you an email. So, Nike, you trying to sponsor my video? You trying to sponsor me? I just promo your student code. I'm about to make you some money. So, you help me out, I'll help you out. I just helped you out. Now, return the favor. Send me a sponsorship, some shoes, clothes. I'll take socks. Come on, like. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Comment your favorite pair of shoes that I have right now. Comment which pair of shoes I should get next. I'm not going to lie. It's just subscribe. It's free. It's really free. It takes two seconds. The button's going to be somewhere right down there. Just subscribe. It's free. Uh, thank y'all for staying all the way till the end. If you did, appreciate y'all. And um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Let me know what shoes I should get in the comments. That should be the end of the video. Make sure y'all make sure your favorite pair of shoes that I have and the shoes. Fuck. Try and take it from me. See what happened. What's good? What's up? Like, what's up? What's up? What's up? Like, come on.